Firstly, I'm no master. No master in any way, shape or form within chess. Secondly, my gameplay may be awful. You may perceive my gameplay as being a little bit atrocious and not of a standard to be shown to anybody. Number three, you might think I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not a master. Number four, there's streamers out there that are a lot better than what I can provide. I would say, gladly, freely go to them. Number five, the content that I'm providing is not instructional. It's not meant to be instructional. It's a mirror training tool for myself. So any sections where I'm saying, okay, you should do this or you can do that. These are sort of like remembering notes for myself in order for developing in my own chess. Even the beginner tutorials, the intermediate tutorials, the advanced tutorials, they're aimed towards myself as a mirror. They're like a little note, a little diary for myself. Number six, you could do better yourself. Excellent. If that's giving you the motivation to go and do it yourself, then I think we've achieved something there. And let me know where you're at. I'm, I might come along and check your content out. Number seven, you're actually a GM. Mm, I don't think you would be looking at my channel properly if you were a GM. But if you are a GM, you need to probably take a little bit of a rain check on yourself there. Number eight, you just want to chat. Um, this really isn't a chat type area. There's plenty of um, streamers that you can actually go to. Uh, if you put chess in the search uh, within YouTube, or even if you look on your recommendations at the side of um, this particular video, you'll see plenty of professional chess teachers, coaches, streamers, who can give you apparently some invaluable information about how to develop your chess. Okay, so number nine, you want to see traditional chess. You're not going to see traditional chess here. Um, this area is really about trying to work on unique uh, practices. They may not be unique in the eyes of people looking at it going, oh, well, that's a standard Karakan or whatever it is. I don't know the names of anything. What I look at is the position on the board, reacting to what is actually happening on the board right here, right now. And number 10, you don't like long, boring games. Long, boring games is where your chess really is at. It's where it sits. It's its base to where it be able to practice the quality strategies, planning, all the types of things you need to work on um, to develop your chess. It gives you that time to focus and really get the training and practicing that you've been working on. There are many channels, uh, professional channels, um, grandmasters, international masters, national masters who can provide content that you may be looking for if you're looking at a more um, kind of systematic looking approach and a normal, a more, a more traditional, usual way of actually developing your chest, then those kind of streamers are going to be your bag. The one reason I would say if you were going to be following, we strive to try and get people to be individual in their practice and in their thought processes. So that's the whole idea behind the answer process because it, it cannot be refuted because everybody does the answer process. Everybody practices it, um, but with the traditional slant of looking historically at older games um, with treating those like they are the law and like they are the bible and it takes away the individualness of your game so once they go oh that's all theory it's almost like dumbing down the fact that you have put your effort into making your move but then they dumb it down to say well it's all theory it's all theory we all we've seen this already but when you're playing the game right here right now you don't care about the theory you know, what you care about is trying to gain an advantage. So that's where the answer process comes into its own because right here, right now, playing this particular game, I'm looking to try and get an advantage on the board, utilizing 
all the concepts that we've been practicing and working on you know attacking weak squares weak pieces when do we select the right moves which one is the right one to take are we focusing on the right areas is our tunnel vision really cramping us so all those things come into play to make you an individual player so we're just going to practice the answer process as an individual and the tiniest of benefits if anything from watch a channel if that brings out an individual flavor within your own game and within your own personal development then we've succeeded in at least lighting that light for you to take that course of action